Hey right guys, Trey from Just Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 7 of Shameless Season 3. I've just woken up about 30 minutes ago and I'm like getting ready for the day and starting off with Shameless, uh, which I was meant to do later today, but I just, I kind of, I'm in the mood for Shameless at the moment, especially with the kind of cliffhanger at the end of episode 6. This season has been so, so good and the last episode was maybe one of the stronger ones. Apart from the Veronica and Kev thing, that, that stuff I'm just still a bit like, okay. <laughs> That is, so hopefully they maybe drop that this episode, please. As I said, I love Kevin and Veronica, but that story I'm just a big no for. But yeah, I'm mostly interested to see how Fiona kind of approaches this situation now that she knows that Frank was the one that um, called social services. So, yep, episode seven, guys. We are actually halfway through the season as well, so we're powering through season three, to be fair. I'm really enjoying it. So if you enjoyed, and don't even like if you're new, remember to subscribe, and if you want those uncut and early reactions to Shameless, then link to the Patreon page would of course be down below as well as Twitter, Instagram, Discord, all that good stuff. But for now, let's do this. What's Fiona gonna do? Uh, she's like, we do not miss Frank. Get the locks. Let's go. Come on. We are done. We are done with Frank at least for season sure three. Actually, he needs to do something now to like win their trust back. I feel like there's no way she's just gonna be like, oh yeah, Frank can come back. It's been enough time. You're two grade levels behind. Only two. <laughs> Only two. <laughs> Downstairs. Nope. Forget that. What? Okay, all right. The fuck? Idle hands are the devil's work. Mm hmm. Let's just murder her and escape. Some idea. They will never take my kids from me. You called them Frank and. Oh my god, you must have been so drunk. Uh, your parents know. I was surprised. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh no. Has he not hung himself? Should be able to see. Babe. What? It's gonna blow your mind. Love you. Great. I hang myself. I just need you to cut me down when I pass out. Oh my god. <laughs> oh Jody is another demon. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus. Uh, I think you have my baby in there. Oh. Uh, my mom wants him back. I just want the baby back. Oh, okay, great. Well, Alcohol. Karen's gonna be here. Welcome, Karen. Karen's. Oh no, wait. Oh no, it's Frank. Never mind. I thought we were focused somewhere else. Let's skip the hug. It's a little gay. Oh, Jesus. Come on. Can't do it. Oh my lord, <laughs> you tried those Frank as always. For the better, you're all shipped at the drugstore. You're young, don't pack it in. Great, thanks Frank. I'm not going to visit Carl and Liam. He asked for M80s. It's Cal from Star Wars. Well, we got rights too, lady. If we want to get rid of a kid, we'll Oh god, I need to listen to this, but the baby's screaming. <laughs> oh, wow, the baby's quiet. Can you break him? He's got Down syndrome. Uh, nothing. It's it's for the dog. <laughs> Sparky. Can I hold him? <laughs> Jody. The only one I like in this room is Jody. Expensive accidents. I'll call you later, okay? Oh. Bullshit. I forget. I still forget that he's cheating on her. She'll find out this season. Oh wow. Cartoons, man. Roadrunner is funny as shit. <laughs> Roadrunner is funny as shit. Can I use the bathroom? Oh wow. Jesus. Steve Will has to find yourself. How did he manage that? What are we doing? What choice do I have? At least this way I'll know when she's fertile. I don't want Kevin fucking my mom any more than he has to. Oh so, great, well that's the ideal situation then. Okay. The home a week. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. <laughs> it's like these Gallagher's. Father Pete, just two, two times, and you're still a deadbeat. I, I've turned over It'll be a deadbeat the for the entirety of the show. Cameras. This is a show I do wonder where everyone kind of ends up at the end of the show. So that's it. This is why white kids are flocking to Allah. We are in a war <laughs> for hearts and minds. And Don't forget to take a oh, Well, is that it then? It's, I love you so much, honey. Oh, Jade is crying. Oh, the voice is going through me there. 
If, if I ever watch Black Sails, I'll never be able to look him. <laughs> the same. Since when does anyone need a reason to pistol with Nikki? Mm. Alright, <laughs> we're just oh. accepting that then. Oh. Hi. What the fuck? <laughs> Outlet. Um, it's around the what corner. is this? Oh. Yo, Sean, this enough loop? Made a Costco run. What of is this? Get them out of here! What? I thought you'd be into it. Great. <laughs> Thanks, Jody. Right don't sweat it. I got an evite to a bukkake party on the west side. <laughs> <laughs> what is going? Jody's off the rails. <laughs> Technically, Sheila's doing, she, she knew it was going to go down this road. Here we go, it's the first time she's seen him all episode since... Find anything in this goddamn she ain't letting it go. Like, I didn't let it know that you want a kid she knows. So bad. It's not like you want your kids anyway. They're my kids. Oh, boo-hoo, friend. Hey. You're not taking my kids. Oh, Frank. I just got a dead body for you. <laughs> I do you just have to accept that. that. It's part of it. Oh my god. Eee. Debbie drugging her. Wrecked. They're always around seeing if I'm okay. <laughs> Whoa. Church in 10 minutes. <laughs> and that's the line. Where is Mickey? Let's just find him now. Oh, he's way over there. Oh god. He's not gonna want to be with him. I feel like it. Yeah, that scene was mad. Oh, Mickey! Hey. He's gonna just shut hey, off from him. Boyfriends. He doesn't care about sex addicts anonymous anymore, and it's all my fault. Cool. You <laughs> We're still gonna miss that little half wit. Thanks, Frank, for your input. Made in China, just like him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, just, just Debbie then. Solo mission. Oh, she actually did it. Wait, what? Ah, she's super glue in her eyes. Oh my god. <laughs> Fair play, Debbie. Fair play. I'll give you that one. This thing about ashes, they all look the same. <laughs> yep, that one. Oh wow, he's snuck in again somehow. What is going on? Great. I'm naked, dude! <laughs> Wow. Probably not for at least 10 seconds. Who are you saying that to? <laughs> it's like he just made a joke for himself. What do you think was going to happen? It's a dead body. It's a literal corpse and you open it up thinking it won't smell. What is this show? I have to ask myself that every episode. Like, what is this show? <laughs> well, you're the one with them. Oh, it's actually Ian. Fuck, okay. Just close your eyes. I mean, oh, God. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no, it's for you. No, never mind. Just, oh, God. Oh, God. I don't know what he's dead. I don't know if no one, like, wins it. He's dead. <laughs> Coming home, death, I promise. No. Yeah, it's about time. I, I, don't, I, I think I said, I don't know why I couldn't speak them, but, like, two episodes with this story was enough and I feel like they're kind of getting it done this set. And that's giving her the motivation to do it. Oh we're not even gonna see it. Oh. What? Your drinking is destroying your family. It's not that good <laughs> oh, Not drinking. Shit. Shouldn't involve sheets of plastic. <laughs> yeah well, what the fuck was that about? Oxygen. Okay, rip Judy's sex life. <sighs> okay. That a boy <laughs> Cheers, mate. Oh, he stole that. I didn't realise he just got the chips. You are in a lot better shape. Right. Good good child <laughs> line, mate. Well done. Cousin Patrick. <laughs> Have you seen anyone? <gasps> I'll make sure to pass along my condolences to Patrick. Yeah. They don't give you extra credit for showing up early. <laughs> well, who'd have knew? Crapping. What did you do? Only what I had to. Oh, wow. I better thank you. Yeah, I missed you so much. Is this it? Are we getting all of them back? Hi. Mom. Oh, Karen's back. Oh, God. <sighs> she stayed out longer than I thought she would, to be fair. Well, seven apps. I thought 
It's about time she came back to be fair. Still don't like her just because of how they ended her at the end of season two. Like she was a twat. Let's see if she's changed at all. I feel like she's not gonna have changed at all though. Not gonna lie to you there. <laughs> and I will soon own a home. Come on, I hope this goes Fiona's way, please. Hi, um, what? Had another will filed earlier. No. Um Patrick Gallagher. Oh, wait. Is that Frank? Oh. Next. So Patrick, whoever that is, owns the house now. You got any money? I owe you an apology. She's gonna steal I money off something. Have said those things. Where is he? My baby. <laughs> About that. <laughs> And you're back where you belong. Is she though? Is she though? I don't. I'm not He's buying it. I don't know. I don't know. And we call him Hiram, Hiram Lodge. And Were you glad when your father came back? Oh god! If they go back to Frank, I'm just gonna be I was mad. Glad he wasn't dead. It was a hard summer. Wouldn't have made it through without him. Oh god. If you wanna help me too. This ain't going well at all. They're just hyping Frank up for some reason. <laughs> I couldn't stand to see them live through my battles with addiction any longer. It's my fight. Yeah, okay, Frank. Oh, fuck so off. Is admitting you need it. He's gonna get the chip out. Home until I was... Every day I still Bullshit. Entering <laughs> drug disorderlies, public urination, solicitation, possession, <laughs> wow. possession within. She has kept things going in my absence, and I just say he's the one who called social it. services. Uh, but I'm not I don't know. Perfect. But I love my kids. Oh, no, you do not. They mean the world to me. Now he's whipping out his best performance here. We were living out of a car once. Oh. I thought she was going to let it go. First thing he asked me was how much money I had on me. Oh, God. Frank, how can you just sit there and be like, oh, Fiona don't deserve the kids? I wish I could say, I just want to be able to give these kids everything that they deserve because Dude, they're I great love kids. Her. And they deserve better. Ooh. Come on. Chambers, please. I just want to bring them home. Well, from all appearances, your father's a pathological liar, and it's just a matter of time before he screws up again. Yes, <laughs> thank you. My job. Neglectful as he may be, that's not enough to prove abuse. So you're what? Let him keep his rights to the kids? Taking care of these kids would be your life. This already is it, yeah, literally. To be responsible. Oh, dude. I have a daughter. And when she was around your age, she went to college. She traveled across the country. It was the best time of her life. Now, She's always thinking about the kids and not herself. Like, that's always been Fiona's character since season one. Your sibling. Dude. He has a point. 16 more years, it's like... Mad. I actually have no clue how this all goes. She saying no, no. Do you agree? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Take your children home. It's all right. We got back at least. <laughs> there you go. Simples. <laughs> See you later, Frank. Waste of oxygen. Steven. Straight back to booze. Uh, this house has been weird about more, to be fair. He is not vibing with the, the like idea of this at all. I feel like he's gonna dip out by the end of the season. Nah, he's he's dipping out by the end of the season for sure. <laughs> Jody? Hey, when'd you get home? What the fuck? Axibio. <laughs> with Jody. Alright, there we go guys, that is episode seven of Shameless Season 3. Uh, another very solid episode. The best part of it being this whole Fiona case against uh, Frank. Like they, the whole episode was them trying to get everything in order for her to have the chance to get the kids back, basically. And it, it went her way. She's not the was it? She's the guardian of them, um, but Frank's still like the parents. So yeah, I guess that that kind of works out for them both in a way. Not that I wanted it to work out for Frank. Like he still gets all his benefits, I'm assuming, uh, and all his checks, where she kind of has the legal side of it where she has to look after him that side but like the judge kind of said she's going to be doing this for the next 16 years now because Liam's only did he say two I think he was two uh so that's her life now and I feel like it as much as it part of me was like 
maybe her saying no would be the best option. Maybe it would be out of character for her to say no because since episode one of season one, her life and story pretty much is just to look after the kids and that's what I really love about Fiona's character. Like I felt like it would have been a bit out of that character for her to say no. Um, but I think I feel like there will be a time at some point, whichever season that may be, where she might regret this decision, uh, where she wants to actually move on with her life. We will have to wait and see. But uh, yeah, all that stuff with that story was great. Sheila's story, first off, I was not caring about it. It was just more about Jody having this sex addiction and Sheila. Uh, but then when they gave away Jaime, I didn't expect that. So they've given him away and Karen's come back as well. So that will maybe spice up that story a bit more than just Jody having a sex addiction. As, as funny as it is and as much as I love Jody, uh, it's nice I've got a bit more with that story. Steve, Jimmy's kind of going back and forth, doing his thing. And like I said, you can tell from the ending there that he... He loves Fiona, sure, and he, I'm sure he likes all the kids as well, but he is not entirely on board with what's going on here. And even said as well, like, uh, I, I forgot which character he was speaking to, but saying that Fiona didn't even ask him about this. He, she just assumed he was on board, which I, I understand his problem with, to be fair, like the, the fact that she does just expect him to be okay with this without talking to him about it. I actually kind of understand his problem. I don't like the guy because he's still cheating on her and that's that's that but i do see his frustration with it um as much as like i love fiona of course she's like the best character of the entire show ian we saw like one scene with him and mickey and mickey's just kind of shut off from him uh, i think that's all we needed from mickey this episode i didn't i didn't mind that uh lip didn't do too much carl didn't really do too much so it was mainly the frank and fiona thing and i really really enjoyed that part of it i'm so glad we just took a break from veronica and kevin doing their thing so overall i'm feeling a uh, I'll get 8.6 out of 10. I think it was another very solid episode, especially the final basically 10, 15 minutes was very, very good. Um, the acting again from uh, the actress who plays Fiona, though, she continues to be the best actress or actor that there is on the show, and she's the best character on the list. So, yeah, there we go, guys. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of episode 7 down below in the comments. Uh, Uncuts and early reactions will, of course, be on Patreon, and I'll see you next time for episode 8. Until then, peace.